I'm gonna tell you how to be better on camera and we're starting right now. That's just how we do. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. We all want our camera presence to be awesome. So I'm going to tell you five easy things that you can do to be better on camera. And real quick, if you have any tips on how to be better on camera, leave them down in the comments below to help anybody else that might see this video. Number one is to practice talking to yourself. This might sound a little bit crazy and depending on, you know, if you're out in public talking to yourself, you might even actually look crazy, but it's extremely effective. And here's why. When you practice talking to yourself, if you're driving in the car, if you're at home alone or anything like that, what you're doing is you're practicing taking the words from your brain that are just rattling around in your thoughts to where you think they might sound a certain way, and you're practicing vocalizing those thoughts. In addition to that, if you're doing all of this while you are alone, then you can practice basically projecting your voice, and you can practice your voice inflections and things like that so that you can basically nail it every time you get in front of the camera. And if you don't completely nail it, I mean, it's what editing's for. I just screwed up that last part, but by the time it's finished, it's gonna look like I nailed it. Number two is to speak a little bit louder than you normally would. So let's say, for example, you normally talk like this. So if you and I were having a conversation, then I would, you know, talk like this. If, if we were having like a real life conversation, you were hanging out in my place, you know, I would be talking like this. But instead, when I make the videos, I basically come down here into my chest and I push everything out that way and I amplify my voice just a little bit because I know how much energy the camera takes away. So it's really important that you learn to speak loud enough so that you can project your voice. And by project your voice, I don't really mean screaming, but what I do mean is instead of, you know, speaking up here, you know, and speaking nasally up here in your head and, and your energy is kind of low, if you bring all of that down into this area and you basically push it all out and you do it a little bit louder, that's how you project your voice. And it can make a really big difference. After I finish making videos, I feel fantastic because I've been here, you know, kind of amplifying myself for the last hour or however long I've been making videos for. Number three is to use bullet points instead of scripts. I mentioned this in another recent video and it's it's important. If, if you can get away with not writing scripts, you should at least try it. And the reason for that is because you get to let your personality come out. You get to basically be yourself instead of being whatever it is that you are when you're reading a script. It's a totally different thing. You can watch some of my older videos because I used to also read off of scripts and now I just run off of bullet points and you can see that there's a huge difference in my presentation style and now, you know, I get to basically be a lot more of myself instead of focusing on making sure that I get all the words right when I'm saying something. I was talking to a YouTuber friend of mine lately. His name is Zachary from Win With Zach. I'll put a link with him down in the description below. But during our conversation, basically what, what we came to was that if you are reading off of a script, trying to make everything perfect, what you're doing is you're making everything not perfect because you're reading off of a script. I mean, your words might be perfect, but you won't be perfect, right? But if you are going off of bullet points and you're basically expressing things, how you feel them in the moment as you're saying them, it, then it can do wonders for putting your personality out there. And on YouTube, that's what we connect to. We connect to personalities. So the more that you can put yourself out there, the more perfect your video is going to be. Make sense? All right, cool, moving on. The next tip for being better on camera is to imagine yourself on stage. I know this sounds a little bit crazy, but bear with me for a second. All of us, when we're making our YouTube videos, we're in our place, we're alone, there's nobody here. You know, we're in our place, we're out in the world making videos, we're in our cars, you know, if you make videos in your car, wherever it is, you're 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 in your room, you're in your office, you're wherever it is that you happen to be, you're by yourself in most cases. Because of that, it can be lonely at times and it can also make everything feel a little bit weird, but here's a little exercise that I want you to do. Next time that you go to make a video and you're standing there by yourself and you're thinking, you know, hey, you know, I'm here by myself, everything's kind of weird. Imagine that you're on a stage and the reason for that is this. In most cases, regardless of your channel size, you're at least gonna get some views on your video. And when you get those views on your video, that's other people watching your content. They might not be there in the room with you, but they're there with you virtually through the camera lens. Like right now, when I'm making this in my place, I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you on the other end of the camera as being here with me. And then I amplify that whole thing because I've had some videos that have done well and I amplify that whole thing by saying, okay, well, you know, there's a hundred thousand people that are right here on the other side of this thing. I know the whole angle is a little bit weird, but because of that, it can really make a difference to how you present from the camera because it takes it from being like an alone experience to, hey, I'm standing here in front of a bunch of people, so I gotta put my A game on. And when you put your A game on, everything becomes that much more important. And because of it, you're gonna end up doing better on camera because you're gonna work hard 
harder to be better on camera. Another way to put this that I've also said in a previous video is, you know, when you make your content now, even if you have a smaller channel, if you have a channel that has, you know, five subscribers, make content now like you've already got a million subscribers or like you've already got 100,000 subscribers or whatever. And by doing that, the way that you approach everything is gonna be completely different because you're not gonna approach it like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get this going. You're going to approach it like, hey, I'm doing this already. And that can make a huge difference on how you come across on camera. The next thing you can do is to prepare. And what I mean by that is this, basically when you get in front of the camera and you know, you just turn the camera on, you're like, okay, I'm ready to go. Then, you know, you might be a little bit tight, a little bit nervous about, you know, turning on the camera and getting in front of it. But if you loosen up a little bit and maybe you jump around, maybe you have some music on and you sing a little bit before you come on. Uh, la, 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 la. What's gonna happen is that's gonna get your energy levels higher and it's gonna get your confidence up. It's gonna get your blood flowing and get your brain moving or at least get your brain thinking. And when that happens, then you're gonna present yourself in a much better way when you get in front of the camera. If you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by clicking the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.